Ireland? I've got to hand it to you, Deagle. We got nothing like it in Ireland. Well, um, we Italians uh, worship outdoors because we come from a sunny land. Oh, now, Lieutenant, it doesn't rain in Ireland all the time. <laughs> Bye, Maris. Hello, Johnny. Thank you. You see my cousin, Marisa? That one there. For once, somebody gets so mad they would forget to be afraid. You hear, doctor? Back broke, maybe. Che facciamo? How we pay? We got a trouble we don't need no more. Go away. Now it's time for friends, no police. I come back. We talk then. No! No talk. Go away. Please, Joe, I ask nice. Go away.
Sí, Nicolino. Put money in one loaf of the bread, you deliver to Rossi. Take that loaf darker than the others. Mama. Yes? How much money we have? Five or six dollars. I mean all the money. Not the money Adelina saved. What is it, Papa? Che c'è? Oh, Santa Maria. She works like a mule here all night and all day in college. Papa, only one more year and then I'll be a teacher. What can we do? You know what happened to little Marisa? We could go to the police. I could talk to Lieutenant Petrosino. No, 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 police. This is a private affair, a private business. No, Papa, this isn't Sicily. Papa, here the police are on our side. Lieutenant Petrosino, he's an Italian. No, like I told you, no, no police. Uh, All right, Adelina. Don't worry. I handle this, huh? Nicolo, give me a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, Adelina, you're gonna write this. We pay nothing. Then I'll sign. And I put the note in the bread. Give them the surprise. Oh, right. <laughs> now, write. Right. Right. right.
I don't know. Will you swear this, Lupo? See. Si. Will you? See. Si. I'm going to put him in cell. Like he put me. All right. You <laughs> just stay mad, Mr. Salina. I'll bring Lupo in. <laughs> You black rat, Skifozo. This is the little rat who beats up brave men. <laughs> There's no black hand here. There's just scum like this. <laughs> now listen to me. Forget the old country. Forget Sicily. In America, you can trust the police. That's why he's going to jail. Salino, that's just a warning. Oh, oh. doing a brave thing, Niccolo. It's because my father's a very brave man, Mr. Oh, Richardson. come on, Niccolo, don't say that. You'll stay for dinner? 
Adelina will be home soon, very soon. Ah, you know, they tell me La Signora Solino makes the best fettuccine alla Palermo there is. Uh, stay for dinner. <laughs> then you stay. No, 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 no. Not tonight. No, first I go back to work. And then if I can stay awake, I have to study for a big examination. And then come when the examinations are over. Uh, that's not for a few months. But uh, you invite me and for next Tuesday I come. Well, I invite you. Ah, <laughs> good. Si vediamo. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Adelina. 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 Oh, I was so brave. I... Go tell the police. <laughs> no, I... I'm scared just like everybody else. Oh, sure, sure. That's why they do it to you. Who are they? A cripple. Yes. An orange back. Yes. A cripple got up from his cart and walked. Can you recognize them again? <laughs> Adelina. Do you still want my father to say that it was Lupo? Yes. For his sake, for yours, for everybody's. No, no, thank you. Please don't come in now. Thank you very much. Adelie! 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 outside with a writ releasing Lupo. Joe. You again, huh? Every time something like this happens, I see you. I'm a lawyer, Joe. If it went to trial, I'd have to defend Lupo. Much easier for all of us now that Mr. Solino has withdrawn his complaint. But why do you have to defend Lupo? But someone has to, Joe. Why an Italian? Rotten scum like this. Only makes us look bad. Worse than bad. Let me ask you, Joe. Why would an Italian want to be a cop? To our people, a cop has always been an enemy. Oh, no. No, no, not over here. Over here, what? He chases the street peddler away. He stops the family from earning a few pennies, only because they work and they sleep in the same room. No, he doesn't help our people, Joe. He only persecutes them. We only persecute crooks, Mr. DeSardino. Well, why do you do it? A big lawyer like you makes plenty of money. What do you need with his couple of dollars? I've got lots of clients, Joe. Some can pay and some can't. But uh, the money is not the important thing. Everyone in this country is entitled to a lawyer, Joe. And it all adds up. Now, this uh, paper, that seems to bother you, so... May I bother you to sign it? Yes. It all adds up. Grazie. 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 Papa is almost all better, oh, grazie a Dio. Still a uh, little pain in the arm. 
And Adelina, well, she's not going to college, you know. Oh? She will not be a teacher. Oh, that's too bad. Where is she? Go ahead. Say hello. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> si, 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 si. Hello, Adelina. Oh, hello, Mr. Petrostino. <laughs> they have you working here, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a crema. Mm. Would you like a taste? Si. Hada. Mm, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, your mama tells me you're not going to go back to college. No. I saw you at the opera the other night. Well, oh, you didn't see me because, hey, when Caruso sings, you don't see anything else. No. <laughs> but how did you get Johnny Viscardi to go to the opera with you? Oh, Johnny's changed a lot. Uh, I understand he drives a truck. Yeah, he's got such good plans now, big ones. Uh, I have plans, too. Uh, I've been studying nights, a very important examination for Captain. Oh. Uh, it's well, not just well, for the money, hey. No, but because then, for the first time, the New York police force have an Italian as Captain. <laughs> For 22 years, ever since I became a policeman, I, I have this dream. <laughs> oh, I know how it is with dreams. I hope yours come true. Uh, you know, when I first came to this country, I couldn't read or write, but um, Irishman teach me. Irishman and the labor gang. <laughs> Irishman? I never heard of one who was nice or smart. <laughs> that's what they say about the Italians. Uh, oh, but that's a good part about America. You meet all kinds of people. <laughs> You find out that some are different and some are not. Some nice, some not. <laughs> but I could use that Irishman now because I need a teacher. Well, you learned how to read and write in a foreign language. You're not going to have any trouble. Oh, yes. I take this examination five times already. I need uh, punctuation, spelling. Hey, this English spelling, impossible. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Hey, well, what about you teaching me? A punctuation, spell, a little history. Well, I'd be glad to if you think I could help. I'll pay you 50 cents an hour. No, you don't pay My me. My, yes. Oh. Uh, then maybe you get more pupils. Uh, you make more money and you can go back to college. Then I'll be a captain and you'll be a teacher. When would you like to start? Uh, tomorrow night, after supper. Oh, tomorrow night, I can't. I promised Johnny Viscardi I'd walk with him. Oh. Well, uh, maybe the next night. Sure, sure. And then, you know, after after that, as often as you want. <laughs> Good. And then some night we play hooky. Oh, um, H-U-C-K-Y. Uh, H-O-O-K-Y. Uh, H-O-O-K-E. <laughs> Look, some night we don't study. Instead, we go hear Caruso sing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Commissioner. Hello, Joe. Come on, sit down. <laughs> you know, you put a bee in my bonnet, and I just can't help it if it keeps buzzing around. Oh? Ah, that Italian squad. Now, listen, Joe, why have got to be Italians? What have you got against Irish cops? Oh, nothing, eh? Irishman teach me how to talk. <laughs> yeah, well, then why an Italian squad? Well, uh... Mr. Commissioner, you know, there are more Italians in New York than there are in Rome. No. Yes, over 500,000 of them. <sighs> now, the uh, patrolmen in Little Italy can't speak the language. But uh, the Italian policemen, maybe the people will talk to, maybe trust. Well, you're an Italian, Joe. Why, have there been over 1,400 crimes in Little Italy so far this year? And not one conviction. Well, I'm only one man. But I'm the one man that these uh, rats stay away from. You see, these crimes, they are caused by a, a handful of rats who call themselves Black Hand. And... What do you mean, call themselves? Are you telling me there isn't any such organization? Just rats who got to give themselves a name to scare the people. Well, maybe you don't think there's a Black Hand, Joe, but your people certainly do. Sure. <laughs> they remember it from the old country. You know, I come from Sicily where the Mafia was born. When, uh, when the foreigners ruled Sicily, the Mafia was formed to fight them. And uh, when the foreigners used the police, the people hate the police. Pretty soon the Mafia became so powerful that it ruled all of Sicily. 
A government inside a government. Ma, no here, though. <laughs> well, I don't know. Italians. I like them well enough, you understand? Uh, <laughs> some of them, you know. But, well, they don't seem to catch on to our ways fast enough. Commissioner, you come to this country in steerage, huh? <laughs> no, no. Well, my grandparents came here a long time ago. Well, steerage is crowded. Many of my people come over in the bottom of boats. The poor, sick, frightened people. But they want to come. They want to be Americans. They get here, and people call them dagos, guineas, wops. Oh, shine in the shoes, make you good as pagette. <laughs> it's hard, but there's a big chance here. The kids can learn to be somebody, learn to read and write. They're proud to be Americans. I like to see them get a chance for the new life they come here for. Ma, how are they going to do it if they're scared all the time? Here. Does that make me a black hander? <laughs> well, hardly. Sure it does. Anybody wants to make a few dollars, they draw a black hand. Joe, when's that examination for the captaincy? Four months. Four months? I don't know. I'm pointing a lieutenant to it. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, why me. not, Joe? I appoint you. Temporary. In four months, you'd better be captain. Mr. Commissioner, you don't know about my spelling. I tell you this. I cannot pass the examination and start the Italian squad, too. Well, maybe I'd better take it up with Marchetti. No, no, no. But if the ward boss don't know. Well, he controls a lot of votes. Yes, and he listens to every one of them, too. Uh, and if he gets wind of it, he'll go straight to the mayor. So tell him later. You see, I fix it. <laughs> well, then why wait? All right, Joe, you've got your Italian squad. But you'll have to pass that examination in order to take the heat off of me. Now, that's an order. At least this will give me something to hand to the newspapers. Oh, no, no. No, Mr. Commissioner, please. No publicity. Uh, look, we just start small. Five, six men, huh? <laughs> Nobody knows your faces in Little Italy. That's why you're brought in from precincts like uh, North Beach, Canarsie. Uh, this is your squad room. You will be known as the Italian squad. And you report to nobody but me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like. Okay, yeah, help yourself. No, no, no. Uh, tell me, do we work in plain clothes? Yes. Hey, it's a good idea, you know, Lieutenant. I mean, for Italians to take care of their own mess. Sure. Well, well, sure. Well, yeah. How do we start? Now, uh, you're all going to have to become a part of Little Italy. Like, for instance, uh, you, Simonetti. You're going to be a barber. You know why? I was a apprentice barber in Palermo, huh? Uh, you're all going to have to mix around. Get yourselves liked. Get the confidence of our people. Find out who's paying off to who. We've got to make arrests and make them stick. Gavish. Yeah, Gavish. Uh, your hours are 24 hours a day. 24? You're going to have to stand around, drink in the saloons, take up with women. Huh? Uh, <laughs> 24 hours a day? I picked you carefully for your strength and stamina. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, look, boys. The idea is to make the black hand come to us. Set ourselves up uh, for bait. Life bait, huh? Guinea pigs. <laughs> Joe! Uh, buonasera, signora. I bring, I bring a caruso to you. Oh, benissimo. What is it? Aida, you want to hear? Yes. yes. The lessons are no fun. Ah, oh. si, 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 si. 
Hey, but what are you doing here, Johnny? You went to school already. I know I took you there by the ear many uh -huh. times myself. Mm -hmm. This time I like the teacher. Oh, hey. hey. You all think he's such a sweet man, this Joe Petrosino? I can tell you different. He's got a kick like a mule. Uh -huh. <laughs> it kept you out of jail, that kick. Yeah, maybe it even kept me out of the black hand. Uh -huh. Hey, but uh, you can't beat me up anymore, Joe. I'm too big for that. Now, I do what I want. I joined the Black Hand. Or <laughs> well, I turned cop. A policeman? Yeah. I'm taking the examination for the police force. Bravo! Oh, bravissimo! <laughs> you see, Joe, I could have been a rich man except for you. Hey, you go ahead. You get rich the wrong way. Uh, you find out I can still... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna be poor, and you're to blame. Me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Adelina's idea, but I blame you. You know, she thinks you're a hero or something. So she, now she wants me to get uh, shot or stabbed or blown up. And for what? For 14 bucks a week. Ah, uh, John. Well, I'm still around. Everybody knows they'll get you someday, Joe. Let's get to work. Hey, Dio mio, what's that? Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei. Ma why six pence? For luck, this is the sixth time I'm going to take the examination. Maybe this time I'll be sitting there answering all the questions, using many words, big words. I write so fast the pen dries up. So, I take another one. I keep going. I answer every question 100%. The Civil Service Board says, uh, Ah, whose paper is this? Petrosino. Hmm. Let's make him a captain. Captain Petrosino. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think this can happen, huh? I hope so. Well, a man must be prepared. Only prepared is here. Or maybe they bring me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I made up an examination paper for you. Johnny's finished his and it's perfect. Just the apostrophes. You see, you can only use an apostrophe in it when the verb it is. For example, if you were going to say, it's a lovely evening. It's a lovely evening. That's enough, lovely evening. For me, it's time to go to bed. Maybe the men are thirsty. There is beer in the icebox. I'll get it. You'll make it. Just don't get discouraged before you even get started, Joe. Ah, uh, Mr. Petrosino. Oh, it's all right to call me Joe. <laughs> I'm not as old as all that. <laughs> hey, Adelina, where is it? I can't find it. Never mind, I'll get it. Nice girl, my Adelina. Yes, uh, nice girl. She'd make a good wife for somebody. Uh, come on. I, I guess Johnny thinks so, too. Johnny. He's been walking with her for a long time. Walking? What's walking? There is only one walk that counts. Down the middle of the church. Yes, sir. 
This is the ten dance, Mr. Colombo, and thank you very much, eh? La mano nera. Now you pay it off. Until next month. Just one second, I, I, I see a, a rough spot here. Come on, I got a lot of stops today. Hey, all right, but just want me to know, please. Look, I don't take it too long. You know why? Because when I start a job, I like to finish the job, you know? Don't move, Palumbo. This race is very sharp. Okay, Lieutenant. Thank you, Palumbo. Find the mark bills right in his pocket. Good. Come on, Palombo. Mr. Palombo, your coat. That's right. Hey, what's the matter? No tip, huh? No? <laughs> Was a friend. Too bad this can't send you up for a long time, Lupo. I thought you'd never get here. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't take him alive. Maybe one shot was enough, I guess. The other one was because they called me a fat boy. Andiamo, schifoso. <laughs> Patrocino. Who? Enrico Caruso. For sure, I believe it. <laughs> bravo, maestro. Bravo. <laughs> sure, I come. The Waldorf story, I know. A black hand note. I'll be right there. Caruso. Caruso, can you believe it? The best known Italian in America. Sure. Well, but it's because we've been doing so good. Ma, if there was an organization, would they do something so stupid? Still, an organization's got to do something big. Or they're licked. But if they succeed, if they kill Caruso, they prove they're stronger than the Italian squad. Come on, Botti. I receive letters all the time. But this one says they will kill me. Tonight they will kill me. No, no. You will not die. You are immortal, mm, Maestro. I am immortal, so I should not be afraid. Huh? <laughs> no, tell me this. How can I sing Lucia tonight with my heart in my throat? Well, uh, of course, if you want to cancel tonight's performance. Cancel who? Me? When I got Lucia to sing? Bravo, Maestro. That's what makes you such a great artist. You have a big heart. Mm. What makes me the great artist is my big lungs. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I got big lungs and short legs. I sing good, I run bad, so I'm afraid. No, 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 no. Don't be afraid. Mm. I have a man outside your door. Oh, good. My men will take you to the Metropolitan Opera tonight, and they will bring you back here. We will stay with you through the whole performance. Not on the stage. No, no, no. Oh, not on the stage, but close to it, eh? I will station my men in the balconies, in the boxes, uh, through the whole house. Mm. Now, you rest easy, eh? <laughs> Adio, signore. Adio, amico. <laughs> I trust you. Grazie. 
but I am still afraid. soon.
Gosh, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> It was beautiful, senor. Just beautiful. Ah, I didn't bravo. even know what I was here for. <laughs> oh, for the amor de Dio, I hope not. <laughs> oh, Tony, I'm all in one piece, huh? Thanks to my guardian angel. <laughs> Tony, just bring my hat and coat. I will change it to the hotel. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> the car is in the alley, sir. Good, good. Mil grazie, tenente. <laughs> so, Ronnie, give me a hand getting this off, huh? Hey, Bonte. You know, you missed your calling. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> but I was in good voice, huh? <laughs> Money. Money. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, Tony. We must pamper how you say the tonsils, huh? <laughs> Senor, I think it would be best to take a taxi home. A simonetti, get a taxi at me, huh? Oh, no, tenente. Have you ever ride in one of these? Uh? You will, Tori, andiamo. No, no, we'll wait for a taxi. You see, everybody knows that big car. Tenente, on stage, I'm a little man with... with a big voice, huh? But off stage, I'm just a little man who needs a big car. You'll see, huh? Beautiful girl. Perfect combination, eh? New automobile, case of champagne on ice at home. Will you share them with me? Thank you, Mr. Caruso, but no thank you. No? I'll sing for you. Will you promise not to stop singing? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. My guardian angel will be your guardian angel. Tenet Petrozino will watch over you. It is not possible to be safer than that. Well, three's a crowd. But I love crowds. <laughs> hey, signore. She will have to go in a taxi. Beh, what can I do, huh? Charles, take the automobile home, huh? Well, Tenente for this beautiful signorina, it must be a first-class taxi, eh? A motor, no horse. You are doing the right thing. It will be first class. With a motor, I promise. No horse. <laughs> off the boat. 
sure the squad will do its best, but... You see, it used to be that these threats were only against the little people. Barbers, the gross... Now, for the first time, they're after men like Caruso. Barbers. There have been captures and convictions. But this still doesn't solve anything. And the attempts are getting bolder all the time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But I am a banker. I'm particularly vulnerable. Although I don't quite feel as strongly about it as uh, Mr. DeSarno here. Just what do you gentlemen have against Lieutenant Petrosino? None, none of us has anything against the Lieutenant Petrosino, personally. I am proud to call him my very good friend. Sure, he's a very nice man, but we just think he's the wrong man to be ahead of the Italian squad. There wouldn't be an Italian squad if it weren't for Joe Petrosino. There's a more dedicated man on the force. And he's a very smart one, too. Then why is he still lieutenant? Well, he's taking his examination for the captaincy next week. That precious little time will prepare for it. We still feel that a man with more... more stature, hmm? better educated, would be a more desirable leader for the Italian squad. Right. Oh. Professor Monacari. Oh, no, 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 that's a good man. You want a school teacher to take on those bloodsuckers? Why don't you ask the people in Little Italy what they want? They'll tell you fast enough. They want a big stick. And by heaven, they're going to count it as long as I'm head of the department. I'm with you, Commissioner. I've got kids. And I've got properties. And I don't want a school teacher to fight the black ant. Joe is all right. Joe's all right, but that's not all right. He's a fine man. That's what I mean. Don't answer Apparently, we don't even agree among ourselves. <laughs> and I admit I am puzzled to where I stand. Now, we have presented our case, and we have taken it off of his honor's time. The rest is up to him. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. You're all done. Of course, we all hope and trust Mr. Loria will have no cause to regret his confidence in Lieutenant Petrosino. He does him credit. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Good job, Mr. Mayor. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good I checked with Marchetti before this meeting. He tells me the situation in the Italian ward is getting worse. George, if we let this group put up a figurehead... These men are the Italian community. They uh, swing a lot of weight. Yeah, and a lot of votes. The situation has never been better. You take Petrozino out of there, you're going to have complete chaos. All right. Keep him on for the present. Like I say, I got my six pens and I write so fast, the pens dried up. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful. Light as a feather. Sure, than I make it? Uh -huh. yeah, she's a fine cook, my Evelina. Mm -hmm. Like her papa. Oh. Amaretti, panettone, cassate, everything she's make, good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, a girl who makes a good cake, makes good babies. <laughs> She wastes her time in school. Mama, where'd Joe and I be if Alina hadn't gone to school, huh? Yeah, you see my two prize pupils? 
Officer John Viscardi and Captain Joseph Petrosini. Oh, some good joke. Copy down, oh, Bernie. I had to pass that exam for you. Oh, Johnny, you're very sweet. Uh, hey, what do you say we go to Francini's and have some wine and music? Oh, Come on, treat on me. Uh, mm. Hey, what do you say, Cat Badalina, huh? Oh, sure, you uh, bet. I go get the cake. Oh, come on, Mama. Forget about the cake. We go out and we make a big night. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. You hear the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, Mama. Mama, Mama. Let me take the cake away. No, no, no. I'll do it. You go ahead. Joe, Remy, won't you do it? Oh, sure. Hey, remember the party's for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mama, yeah. Mama, let's go over here. Wrong. You didn't pass. No. Well, you see, you were so busy with the Italian squad, you didn't have time to study. It's just a poor excuse. I wish you'd told me. I didn't want to spoil your party. Joe. Yeah, maybe it's just as good. Maybe some dream is just impossible. Go on, get your hat. I'll walk you down to Franzini's. Well, you're coming too. No. I'll tell him you have to go back to work. Yes, that would be good. And uh, good luck to you and Johnny. What are you? Why do you say that right now? Well, the examination's over and. Uh, I won't be seeing you so much. Besides, I have the Italian squad and... Uh, well, the lieutenant has to work harder than the captain. Everybody knows that. Joe... What difference does it make about grades or rank? They don't make you anything but what you are. And it's what you are that I care about. A man. Johnny, be a man before you know it. Maybe even the first Italian police the same about you. Hey, word came down to us rookies that uh, you're going to keep the Italian squad, huh? Well, for a while. Uh -huh. You see, it just goes to show you. You don't have to learn how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, Joe. Johnny, uh, how would you like to join the squad? Hey, Joe, would I? <laughs> I'll speak to the commissioner about it. How is Adelina? I don't know. I haven't seen her in two weeks. Well, you're not... Uh quarreling already. No. I wish we were then. It would make sense. Well, I'll, um, uh, I'll let you know what the commission says, Jim. Thanks, Joe. Adi. Adi. Broadway Lock on that. Only the Express. Broadway Lock on that. Only the Express. Broadway Lock on that. Morning Express, don't stop here. Broadway and local Come on, come on, stand back. Quit pushing. Quit pushing. All right. Let's stop here. Stand back, everybody. Stand back. Broadway and local next. Come on. Everybody stand back. All right, now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No pushing, no shoving. Come on. This is only the Express. Let's stop here. Let's stop here, folks. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stand back. No shoving, no shoving. Come on. Come on, stand back, everybody. Don't shout. Come on, come on. That's good. Okay, take it easy. Come on, come on. All right, come on. All right, all right. Go to the express. Come on.
Adelina, come in, come in. Hello. What is it? What's the matter? I heard about the subway. Maria downstairs, she told me about it. Are you all right? I'm fine. Mm. There's nothing to worry about. You know how they push it. It could have been an accident. Mm, I don't think it was an accident. Can I get you something to eat or to drink? No, thank you. Well, <laughs> say, Joe, where have you been since the night of the examination? <laughs> well, uh, I, I've been busy. I... I can't tell you how much it means that you're worried. You're so worried you'd come here. Have you seen Johnny? Yes, this morning. Did he tell you that he asked me to marry him? No. I told him no. I told him I was in love with somebody else and I was waiting for him to ask me to marry him. I thought you and Johnny... Oh, Joe. Can't you see? It's not Johnny I want. I told you. I want a man. Adelina. I can't marry you. Look. Black hand notes, bullets, stilettos. I can't ask you to live with that. But I am living with it. That's what I came here to tell you tonight. Before it's too late. Before I lose you. I, I came to say that if you're never going to ask me to marry you, well, I just have to ask you to marry me. Oh, I know I should wait until you ask me. But then I think, well, maybe he never will. Not, not that he doesn't love me. I know that he does. Adelina, me here. Are you glad I asked? Oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Adelina, I make only $34 a week. Oh, Papa already gave you all the arguments against it, and, and it doesn't make any difference. I made up my mind. But I'm older than you. How old do you feel now? We'll be young together. Can he see?
like this one? Yes, Papa. It's beautiful. Hey, it is beautiful. We take this, Enzo. Oh, buongiorno, tenente. Buongiorno. Hello, Joe. You know my daughter, Julia. You remember Mr. Petrosino, dear? Show Mr. Petrosino your ring. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> now tell Mr. Petrosino why it has to be a blue stone. Because Sister Teresa says blue is Holy Mother's own color. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Come along, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Enzo. Mm? Thanks. Ciao, Joe. Ciao, ciao. Here's the note. They won $500. Did you show this to anybody else? Only to my friend, Mr. Zarillo. Oh, he told you to see me, huh? No, he said it was too risky. He advised you to pay? Yes. Why didn't you? A year ago, I would have. But now, such good work you do in Joe, so good for the Italian. And besides, $500. I'll put a man with you, damn mate. All right, uh, you'll hear from me later, huh? Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, hello, Joe. Want to see me, Joe? Yes. You see, I have respectable clients, too. Yes, I see. See you tomorrow. Arrivederci, Luigi. Ciao, amico. Well, uh, what can I do for you, Joe? I had a talk with Loria. He told me you advised him to pay. Loria is a friend of mine. I gave him the same advice I would give myself. Mr. Zarillo, how do you expect us to beat these rats if we don't stick together? You've got to help us. You've got to support the police. You should say, no, don't pay. But, Joe, I can't advise my friend to commit suicide. Something always seems to happen when they refuse to pay or turn to the police. Now, look. I know you're doing your best, Joe. Can you honestly say it's good enough? Loria won't pay, and he will live. I tell you that. Joe, I hope you're right. To Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino from the government of Italy for his cooperation in returning criminals wanted by the Italian government. <laughs> we'll put it right here. Made a letter of commendation from President Roosevelt. <laughs> now let's drink to Lieutenant Petrosino, defender of the people of Little Italy, terror of the Black Hand. Mm. If I'm such a terror, then they should be afraid of me, huh? They are. Well, Zarillo is still afraid of the Black Hand, and so are the little rats we pick up. Oh, we get convictions, but uh, why can't we make them talk? Because somebody's already scared them worse than we can scare them. But what, Joe? Maybe a uh, capo mafioso. I thought you said there wasn't a mafia here. Change your mind? We better get some little black handle to talk. Before... Before what? Hey, what is this, a celebration for a medal or a wake? <laughs> Come on, here. Uh, we drink to President Theodore Roosevelt and, and to the King of Italy. No, <laughs> to my wonderful husband. Ah, uh, grazie. <laughs> Salute. Eh? Salute. But... If there is a mafia... So gente on 24 hour duty at Laurier's. What do you call that again? Fermaglia d'oro. Fermaglia d'oro. 18 carats. 18 carats. Fermaglia d'oro.
Lalvi. Yes, sir. Will you send these right out, please? By the way, sir. Plenty you can find. Anything. Get going. Right, Chief. All right, everybody. Listen to me. Anybody here get a good look at the wagon? Give it to la carretta. Anybody here see the wagon? I did, Mr. Mendocino. I seen it. It was a blue wagon, and it was full of vegetables. <laughs> Salvi, what is it? The children. Those poor little children. <laughs> Get hold of yourself. <laughs> what children? Some girls from the convent. They're dead. They're loaded. They're dead. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I saw him. I saw him leap from his wagon and run up the street. Yes? I saw his face. Uh-huh. Yes? He was an Italian. His face was all torn and bloody. God put his mark on a murderer. You're right, sister. And maybe we can trace him by that. You can identify him. I'll know that face. Dondera, your notebook. Describe him, sister. Sister Teresa. Sister Teresa. The Julia.
Luigi. Luigi. Come with me. Come. Will someone help me? Uh, you, come here. I found anything. I don't think they anything out of these spokes. Nothing. Look at this shoe. It's almost new. Anybody know who makes this shoe? There must be a thousand blacksmiths in New York. Oh, at least. <laughs> and, uh... Yes. But American blacksmiths make shoes with wider corks and thinner. Hey, Johnny DiGilio, list every Italian blacksmith in New York. You ought to have that done by morning, huh? Mm -hmm. Botti, you, Costa Simonetti, go get some sleep. Then pick up the list, start checking them one by one as soon as it gets light. Find out who put shoes on this horse. Maybe he can identify the driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is what we put together from her description. Oh, good, good. Uh, can you make me three more copies by morning? No trouble. Good. Uh, every one of you pick up a copy with your list, huh? Mm -hmm. Fine, thanks. Oh, Botti, uh, put out a microscope for me. As soon as I change, I'll be right back. Anybody gets anything, I'll be right here by the telephone. And, boys, I don't have to tell you. This one we're going to fight all the way, huh? See the sono? No, he wouldn't see me. The secretary says he won't say anything. I can't get at him or Zerillo. Zerillo? Yes, I saw something on the street yesterday. Hello, boys. Well, we found the blacksmith, all right. It's a shoe, all right. He uh, identified it, but... Nothing else fits. His driver was a short man. Not a customer of his. That's right. One milky eye. Well, what kind of a wagon? Vegetable? No. Rag. Rag? That's it. Johnny, I want a list of every rag dealer in town. Okay. Take a look, boys. Sure. Take a look at this. It's a silk, isn't it? You take out the rags. And in five minutes, you can make a vegetable wagon out of a rag truck. Boys. There's one rag dealer in town who has one less truck today than he had a week ago. That's the man we want. He has three licenses. One truck's missing. Hasn't been here all night. Do you think our driver could be holed up in there? Could be, could be. Let's get a search warrant. No, 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 no. Oh, we want him, all right. But uh, this thing is so big. Who's behind all this? I want to get inside. Be inside at the right time. What's it look like, Pop? Two bells of cream puffs. Don't get fresh, huh? Hey, who do you work for? 
Spinelli. Tony Spinelli. You know driver. I don't see you before. Look, Pop, I don't see you either before, huh? So that makes us even. Come on, Pop, give me a hand, will you? Come on. to your eye, huh? My eye? She's a sick. She's a get sick looking at fresh kids. Hey, I only ask a question. Don't get sore. I'll be seeing you, Pop. You don't want a receipt, eh? Receipt? That's Spinelli. He always want a receipt. Ah, uh, he uh, must have forgot to tell me. You know, first day on the job, huh? Hey, uh, you uh, do me a favor and you, uh, you make me out one, huh? Come on, Pop, you, uh, you be a good guy, huh?
Where's your baby killer, man? He knew he would die one way or another, and he would never talk. So he rushed me. Well, that's fine. The result is we know all about Zarello and DiSarno, but we've got no case. Unless we can get one of them to talk. Not one chance, Commissioner. Well, DiSarno might. Confidentially, the Bar Association is after him. <laughs> You've heard of uh, Omerta, the mafia law of silence? Yeah. It's absolute, and it's enforced. And I'm sorry to say it's enforced here. Yeah, Commissioner Hennessy of New Orleans swore that there was a mafia here. Does this mean you've changed your mind, Joe? Commissioner, I'm an Italian. I fight against believing it. I don't want to believe it. But I have to learn the hard way. But a mafia here does not explain Fabrica. He came into this country through Charleston two weeks ago. We found the papers on him. But how does Zarillo get hold of him? Why does an Italian immigrant who can't even read do what he's told to do? And what kind of a spider web stretches from here to Charleston and maybe to Sicily? Joe, Joe, you're going pretty far. From no mafia at all to an international organization? No, 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 no. I say maybe. I think the only way to find out is to send somebody to Italy, to Sicily. You know, I've thought about that for over a year now. Send somebody over there to talk with the immigration authorities. Uh -huh. See that the seamen over there are all issued passports. I you know, know. that would make it tougher for them to jump ship. And not only that, they could check on Di Sarno. Yeah. They could check on Zarillo. Right. Bet anything they have records. Sure, sure. When am I going? Oh, Joe. If there's a kind of an organization that you're talking about, you'd be exactly the wrong man to no, send. No, 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 no. I'm the one that's going. Well, actually, I thought about sending several men. One man could do better. Believe me. Yeah, well, the board will fight me over the money as it is. All right, Joe, you'll go if I have to pay for it myself. <laughs> hey, you haven't had much time to bone up on that next examination for the captain, have you? I'm sorry, Commissioner. Doggone it. If it takes an act of the legislature, I'm going to see... Excuse me. Yes? No. Thanks. Well, we can forget about DiSarno. He's hanged himself. Good luck, Joe. Adelina? Yes? Where did you put my socks? In your other bag. Oh. The way you go through heels. I really should have bought you some new ones. Let go. Next time you will come along. I promise you, we'll have a good time together, just the two of us, huh? We'll eat in the best restaurants, drink plenty of good wine. We'll go to Venice, right around in the gondolas, huh? Supposing by then there are three of us. <laughs> Then we take them with us. Joe, do you have to go? No, no, no. It's only for six weeks. How long is six weeks? Oh, it'll be so awfully long. I'll miss you so. <laughs> oh, I know. You, you risk your life here every day in New York. I never fussed. And I never will. I promise. But Joe, you will be careful. You know, there's nothing I want more in this world than to come back to you. Come back to us. Un bambino. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> oh, I wanted to. And I tried to one night. But you were so, so very worried oh. and busy and tired. <laughs> and, and then after that, I... Well, anyway, you know now. So, Joe, you will be careful. Hey, you want this little kid to grow up with a careful pop? That's no good for a little boy. No, I just want him to grow up with a pop. <laughs> oh, that's Johnny. Come in, Johnny! Where's everybody? 
Hello. Hello, Johnny. Yeah, I got your cab waiting for you downstairs, Lieutenant. Oh. Okay. I'm, I mean, Captain. <laughs> Captain. Well, hasn't he told you? Oh, it hasn't happened yet. But it will. Oh, Joe. The commission has sent a request to Albany to form an Italian detective bureau with Captain Petrosino as his head. Capitano. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the first Italian captain in New York. Joe. I'm so proud. I'll go get your things. Hey, what if it's a little girl and she looks like me? That would be terrible. When will it happen? You'll be back in plenty of time. Arrivederci, Adelina. Oh. All ready to go. Oh, you take good care of yourself, huh? And remember, I'm just going away on a small vacation. You get seasick. Uh, From the men on the squad. <laughs> Tell them thanks, Johnny. Tell them all thanks, eh? Joe, you got a lot of friends here. Come back. I know, Johnny. And it makes me feel good. I tell you, this year has been the happiest year of my life. Now, one Italian gets to pay uh, America back for all it's given him. That's why I'm glad I'm going. Joe, I'll take care of everything and... I mean, Zarello, if... Oh, goodbye, Joe. Adieu, Johnny. Adelina Mia. I arrived just now in Palermo, Sicily. My last day in Rome, I made proposal to change immigration laws, and Italian police received it well, and promised to put it before Minister of Interior. Tell Johnny, my first business, one or two S's, still cannot spell that word, will be to search the police records. He will know what I mean. I will write him direct when I have news. Dear Johnny, day and night for almost a week now, we have worked on the records. I have identified many of Little Italy's black handers who are wanted by the police here. Now we have grounds to deport them. But I am afraid I was wrong about Zarillo. Not one trace. Now I am going through, personally, cards already checked. Dear Johnny, I have found him. Zarillo is Rafael Pascalli, wanted here for double murder. But now, I have information even more important than that. Information which fell into my hands. I do not know whether by accident or what. I cannot trust it to the males. Matter of fact, I'm afraid to trust it to the police, the hotel, my briefcase. But it is too much for my one head. All I can say in this letter is that it confirms my worst fears. Fortunately, I am leaving Palermo tomorrow morning, so I should be home with it soon after this reaches you. I have a meeting tonight, my last one. 
I do not like the idea of going alone. But I have been informed that only through this meeting can I learn if the terrible knowledge locked in my briefcase is true. I must be sure. So I have made the decision. I must trust those who have already helped me so much. Don Cesare, Signor Petrosino. Piacere. Piacere mio. I'll leave you now. Thank you. Very good. I have taken the liberty of ordering your dinner. Grazie. Uh, I've been always very curious to meet you. Did you know that when the organization here sends a man to New York, he is taken to the street outside of the headquarters of the police station and shown uh, the renowned, dangerous Tenente Petrosino? I'm flattered. How did you enjoy Rome? Oh, it's changed a lot since I was a boy, but uh, I only wish my wife could have seen it with me. Uh, perhaps someday she will. No. Uh, do you want to ask your questions now, or would you rather wait until we finish dinner? Now, you've already answered my first question. I? When you said the Mafia sends men to New York. Oh. Who is Capo Mafioso in Brooklyn? Noviello. And uh, in New Orleans? Romero. You know already these names, eh? Huh? Some. Do these men in America, the Capo Mafioso, other Mafioso, uh, do they get their orders from the council here? You have all that information? Have you been told uh, who is Capo Mafioso here? No. The police don't know that. But I was told you did. Do you? I am. And you will reach the end of your journey. No, no, you might as well finish your meal. Uh, you have heard of that tradition, have you not? I offer to let you eat first. Buonasera, signore. Buonasera. Buonasera, signore. Buonasera, schifoso.
I'm arresting you, Mr. Zerillo. Why? Why? Why the masquerade? For the best reason. See, I received the Black Hand note. I refused to pay. I do not quite trust the police to protect me, so I protect myself, like this. Why would you receive a Black Hand note? Did you send it to yourself? You have a warrant? Right here. Will you tell me what it says, officer? I'll tell you what it says, Rafael Piscali. It says you wanted in Sicily for a double murder committed 19 years ago. <laughs> Everything in my blood cries out for me to kill you. My head remembers what he taught me. Live by the law. Joe, we got him. Yes, then in the Petrosina, you get me. Hey. 